All right, that was two resistors in series. We're now going to do two resistors in parallel. So we have our battery, we have one resistor, and we have our second resistor. So the potential difference across the battery, terminal voltage, again, we'll just set it 12 volts. We'll call this one resistor one, this one resistor two. <coughs> let's actually start out by talking about the electric potential difference. Again, let's say that this, uh, the positive and the negative are at zero volts and 12 volts. If this is at zero volts, what's the potential at this point right here? Rudberg? Yeah. This is going to be zero volts. Rudberg, what about here? Yeah. And right here. Yeah. Good. What about the electric potential of this song at this point? What's the electric potential at that point? Uh, 12. 12 volts. What about at this point? 12, 12 volts. And this point? Again, the electric potential difference is going to be the same along the wire because there's no resistance of the wire. Therefore, what do we know about the electric potential difference for uh, resistors in parallel? It's too low. Uh, they're the same. They're the same. Notice in this particular case, they're all equal to 12 volts. The electric potential difference across the battery, the terminal voltage, is equal to the electric potential difference across resistor 1, which is equal to the electric potential difference across resistor 2. That's what it means to be in parallel. Okay, what about current? Again, we return to our anthropomorphic charge, which we place right here. <coughs> anthropomorphic charge. Are you going to move to the right or to the left, class? Right, right. To the right. Okay. So the anthropomorphic charge is moving away from the battery toward the resistors. So this is the current delivered by the battery. Anthropomorphic charge. Are you going to go through resistor 1 or resistor 2? Yeah, I don't know either. We don't know the resistances on either of them. Correct. So we don't know the, either of the resistances, but how, how, about, how about this one? Are you going to go anywhere else, anthropomorphic charge? No, you're either going to go through resistor 1 or resistor 2. True? Yeah. Therefore what? Every charge that comes from the battery is either going to go through resistor 1 or resistor 2. Therefore, headlight. Like, the current through both the resistors is equal to the um, total current. I want to make sure we get it right. The terminal current is then equal to give me the equation. When we add the two currents together, it's going to be equal to the current delivered by the battery because, as we just said, each of the charges is either going to go through resistor 1 or resistor 2. Good. Coming back to the equation for electric potential difference, we know that that is equal to current times resistance. Bless you. Therefore, we can rearrange this to get that resistance equals the electric potential difference divided by the, actually I don't want to do resistance, the current equals the electric potential difference divided by the resistance. And I can substitute in the electric potential difference divided by the resistance for each one of these. But I need subscripts. What is, Charlotte, the electric potential difference we're going to substitute in for the terminal current? Wait, can you say that again? Sure. We're substituting in electric potential difference divided by resistance for each one of the currents. Right? Okay. We had subscripts up here. I want to make sure we get all the correct subscripts down here. So we're substituting in for the terminal current. What is what is this going to be? D. What does it stand for? Terminal voltage. Good. And what's the subscript on the R here for the resistance? EQ. What does it stand for? Um, equivalent resistance. The equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. Equivalent resistance of the load. Great. And you can see here, this is each for resistor one and resistor two. So we're going to have uh, ones and twos for each of those. Mr. Lerner. Everybody brought one over resistance to the party. I'm sorry, that's not what they brought to the party. <laughs> I agree, they were, everyone, I'm sorry, I agree. Everyone did bring one over the resistance to the party. But unfortunately, those resistances are not all the same. So it doesn't work out. It's not equitable. Sorry. We 
can try again if we'd like, though. <laughs> Goes up. Everybody brought Delta V to the party? or Delta V? <laughs> Delta V, Charlotte, am I going to accept that? The electric potential difference. Electric potential difference, thank you. electric potential difference to the party. I do see that they have different subscripts, but we already proved at the very beginning that the electric potential differences are going to be the same. So this is the equation for the equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel. Now, I do want to make sure that we rearrange it slightly. So resistors in parallel is going to be equal to 1 over resistance 1 plus 1 over resistance 2 uh, plus however many, many we have, all of this raised to the negative 1 power. So all I've done here is to rearrange this equation by taking the inverse of the whole equation. On the left, we get the equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel. And on the right, we just have the, it raised to the negative 1 power. Again, remember this means that the electric potential differences were the same <coughs> and the currents at Oops. I do want to take a moment and identify, now that we have both series and parallel, how we can see whether we have two resistors in parallel or two resistors in series. So this is two resistors in, in series. And the way I do it is this. It comes back again to the anthropomorphic charge. In this particular case, class, does our anthropomorphic charge have any choice but to go through resistor one and resistor two? Does it, does it have any choice? No. no, therefore they're in series. Whenever the, the anthropomorphic charge has to go through both resistors, those two resistors are going to be in series. Coming back to the ones in parallel, if the, re, if the current, if the charge is split between the resistors, then they are in parallel. But notice one other thing is that they have to come back together again. So they're going to be split but then they also have to come back together again. If they don't come back together again, they are not in parallel. They are not in anything at this point that we can talk about. We'll talk about how we're gonna deal that with that in just a moment. So again, there's, they are gonna be split, but as long as they come back together again, they're going to be in parallel. 